It is that time of year when everyone starts to get sick and many hospitals throughout the country are reporting high levels of COVID, influenza and RSV. Fox 59, Hannah Fullman joining us now with some of the latest trends we're seeing in central Indiana and how you and your family can stay safe. That's right. It's time, that time of the year when everyone is getting sick and hospitals throughout the country are reporting high levels of COVID, influenza and RSV. I spoke with some doctors today about what the trends look like here in central Indiana. The most recent data from the CDC shows emergency room visits for respiratory illnesses nationwide are up more than 8% in recent weeks. And right now, Indiana is one of the states with high levels of respiratory illness. Indiana being high right now, that's just kind of the season. You tend to see geographically these things spread over a season um, as we get back into our normal respiratory virus patterns. Dr. Christopher Belcher is the Infection Prevention Medical Director at Ascension St. Vincent. He says since the late fall, it's been a busy viral season. COVID rates um, have gone up. Um, but again, this is at a manageable rate for, I think, most hospitals and institutions have been doing well. It puts a little stress, but that's fine. We can do it. And the same is true at Riley Hospital for Children. Right now, what we're noticing is a uh, major increase in influenza A and B uh, in our community, along with other respiratory viruses such as RSV and even COVID. However, that increase is not to the levels we saw during the pandemic. And although doctors say we are at manageable levels for now, we have likely not yet reached the peak. You need two or three weeks a decrease to start to look back and say that was the peak. And lately, it's become even harder to track the number of people getting sick. We know that fewer people are being tested now. Um, and so we'll see fewer cases there. So we w monitor other things like emergency department visits for people with respiratory COVID-like flu-like illness. The good news is the numbers are not nearly as high as they were in prior years, but this could always change. That's why doctors say it's important you take precautions like getting your vaccinations up to date. Then after that, it's the stuff your mom told you. Wash your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes, you know, cough into your shoulder or your elbow if you have to do that. And then do your hand sanitizer. Um, use running water and soap when possible. Doctors say what we're seeing now is known as the triple threat of illnesses. Now, if you have COVID specifically, the CDC says you should still self-isolate for at least five days and social distancing and masking up should continue at least till day 10. For now in the studio, Hannah Fullman, Fox 59 News.